this interesting post courtesy of Kanye West that I wanted to quickly highlight because I feel like at some point for me personally there has to come a time where Kanye maybe looks at his you know situation with corporations and whatnot and maybe comes to the conclusion that it may be him that may be the issue or it may be that because he's willing and uh because yeah because he's willing and interested to work with corporations to get his ideas out to a you know a large amount of people that he has to accept that corporations are always going to do what corporations do and that is fuck you over and this latest post from Kanye West on Instagram which says as follows it's got a picture which highlights the Yeezy Gap uh, Balenciaga sunglasses that he's been kind of showcasing online which they've had a really cool marketing campaign where they've you know he's given pairs to notable people in the scene and basically told them to take selfies and they look really cool in them and shit and they kind of add this really weird effect that makes them look kind of black and white and really strange and kind of you know dystopian vibe it's really really cool with regards to the activation around the whole thing and hopefully they come out really soon but he's had a picture of them on the desk and i think this might be a different um version of them because they look a bit more iridescent there's a lot more of a different sort of color on the frame they're not just silver they kind of got like a little rainbow purpley sort of like feel to them and then the caption he's read is written as follows gap held a meeting about me without me and we've heard this before from kanye because he was moaning i think about um a recent Adidas slide that looks eerily similar to a Yeezy slide. And then I think he also moaned about the release and how things are being made and put together. And also, yeah, that's funny. He moaned, he moaned about the Yeezy day where essentially um, Adidas put together a special day, kind of like Air Max day where they re-released loads of old Yeezy models that maybe didn't sell as well. Or maybe they reproduced, I'm not really sure what the deal was, but essentially it was an opportunity for Yeezy fans to get a hold of colorways and shoes that maybe they missed out on throughout the year. Right. And it was really successful. I feel like everything, Everything, everything sold out I couldn't log on to the site it was basically down for ages but by the time I got on it everything was already gone but when Kanye came out and said oh he didn't know nothing about it he didn't approve it it was quite surprising because I just assumed he would be integral to kind of putting something like that together but knowing Kanye as well it didn't really make sense that he would do such an event like easy day it's a bit more it's a bit basic bitch for him do you know what I mean he'd probably prefer to just put everything out or just keep producing and manufacturing it <coughs> and when it sells out it sells out so clearly there's some disconnect going on between what he's between him and the Adidas board or Yeezy board, whatever it may be. But for me personally, having dealt with corporations and also having taken the decision to kind of do my own thing, however small and measly it may be, I also accepted the time when I was unable to kind of navigate the corporate scene that it wasn't always them. It was also me, right? I didn't have the ability to kind of, you know, swallow my pride, um, be kind of... Um, somewhat a team player or whatever it may be right there was something about my personality that didn't really gel well with that kind of senior industry but everybody else that I kind of was around who was able to navigate that kind of you know rocky waters is basically doing really well for themselves and a lot of it has to come down to kind of your personality um, and just basically how you act around these people but in general what I found is that most corporations without fail are always going to fuck you over especially if you're a creative right there's always going to come a point where you kind of butt heads especially if you're creative to the purest extent as Kanye is, which I have no doubt he is, right? So he has very kind of um, utopian sort of ideals and views around how he wants his work to be presented, to be showcased, to be displayed, um, to be interpreted, to be touched, to be felt, whatever it may be. But when you're running a business, sometimes you just want to, you know, you're you're about the X's and O's, do you know what I mean? You're not really thinking about all that heady stuff. So there's clearly going to be a disconnect there. And I feel like, with Kanye throughout his entire time of pushing for this sort of position and platform that he has at the moment, he's always stressed to us the importance of corporations, right? Back in the day, we were all saying, why don't you do it on your own, right? We were all saying the same thing that Sway was saying. And he was telling us we didn't have the education. We didn't really know what the deal was. We didn't know all these Vivindis, all this sort of stuff. And over time, he's been proved right, right? He's basically showed us that he's he was never really bad at design, especially when he did his first question, you know, that he funded himself. He just never had the right resources at hand to allow him to present his ideas on a bigger scale and clearly the, at the moment at the point he got you the right resources and the right backing behind him it was no surprise that all his stuff took off but i also feel like there's a lack of acceptance on his end that part of the um part of the what would they call it 
what's that thing called? It's like a devil's agreement. Part of that kind of agreement that you take, right? That that handshake that you make with these corporations is that you have to also expect, anticipate um, that they will fuck you over somewhere down the line, no matter how good it starts. Because I remember at the beginning, you know, he was sort of like, you know, thumbing his nose at Nike about how well Adidas was treating him. They gave him everything he won. He was like the main guy. Obviously, he's making loads of money. And again, if you have to think about it as well, usually they say, you only get the sort of like breathing room to do what you want when you kind of bring in loads of money in, right? You're the person that's sort of keeping the lights on kind of thing. But this also goes to prove it doesn't matter how much money you generate for a company, there's going to be people who are going to want to stick their nose in, um, have their say, make their own decisions because they need to kind of, you know, look like they're doing something and also make them look good in terms of them wanting to get a promotional one. There's all these kind of weird corporate musical chair kind of game things going on there. So I feel like he should know that at this point. He's dealt with enough corporation that he should be aware of it. But for some reason, he just seems incapable of understanding that side of business. Now, maybe it's a good thing. Maybe because it means, because he's pushing for complete inclusion, complete control complete oversight complete um final say all these kind of things maybe what will happen in the end is that like everything that Kanye does because he's the first one he's gonna have to go through all these growing pains he's gonna have to take all the bullets but then further down the line when the next generation come up and they have their own deals under Adidas under Gap under Balenciaga whatever they may do they will have a far better time navigating those waters and they'll be given far more autonomy than what do they do because they've kind of learned from the lessons of previous years. Because I always felt like for me, if you're a big corporation and you have the ability to collaborate with somebody as high profile as Kanye, who's not only really correct, not only really creative and does really great work, but he's also incredibly commercially successful too. He sells products and puts bums in seats in terms of tickets and whatnot and shifts units. You should just give them a short, window of opportunity a short contract three to five years give them complete carte blanche go crazy and when it ends it ends handshake and move on but obviously corporations get greedy they see the dollar signs they see the money coming in they see the sales they keep adding years on then they start to stop then, then they start to spoil the sauce and start to add their own ingredients and then there's too many chefs in the kitchen and then it all implodes but i always felt like if you've got that kind of person once a lifetime kind of artist or creative somebody that can kind of you know execute on all those different planes and smash all those fucking different verticals or whatnot they call in business just give them a short leash give them three to five years tell them they can do what they want bring whoever they want in um, support them as much as you can and then shake your hands at the end of it and continue on that probably should be the way, way to go about things um, but yeah let's see what happens going forward we should see the developments um, it would be a really interesting and weird turn of events if he ended up going back to Nike after everything that's happened with Adidas but I would I would I, I would anticipate if you ever did go back to Nike, I feel like Nike have learned the lesson of like how to treat Kanye and like what they've missed out on, especially given everything he produced under Adidas. And I feel like if he did ever go back to Nike, they would definitely give him more of a say so in the kind of general direction of what he's trying to do. He would get a bit more autonomy. He'd be given carte blanche. He'd be given his own monarchy, his own studio, whatever it may be. They'd definitely go out of their way to kind of make something specifically for him and then kind of let him do what he want. I think so going forward because I feel like other brands would love to have the Kanye touch imagine brands like suffering that like, you know the likes of Reebok and Puma and stuff they would love to have Kanye under their wing to kind of reinvent what they're doing and to breathe more to breathe new life into their products and stuff definitely for sure going forward but interested to see um more complaints from Kanye maybe this will go in its favor in the future we'll have to wait and see